So this is all about electrifying Ardwick depot to enable this depot to main, maintain electric trains. And it's those electric trains that we will be running uh, from Manchester to Scotland starting in December of this year. This is all about putting more carriages on our existing network to provide more capacity. So customers will see some longer trains, they'll see some more frequent services. Overall, they'll see a 30% increase in capacity across the network. In the northwest, that's about an 80% increase in capacity between Manchester and Scotland. And on the very important route between Manchester and Leeds, there'll be a fifth train every hour. So five trains an hour where we currently uh, operate four, and 21,000 additional seats in the peaks that will be operating through that route. Electric trains are significantly more environmentally friendly than, than the diesel fleets that we currently operate. So there's an enormous environmental agenda around this and a reduction of carbon emissions in the north of England. government has got a big campaign of electrifying across the country so we're moving away from diesel fuel to more electric trains which is good for the environment they're also faster trains as well so that's good for the population as well. Are the disadvantage of having electric trains? Um, I don't think so I mean they're, they're better all round they need a lot less maintenance compared to a diesel fleet and so I think it's uh, good news all round for passengers for us as maintainers and for Transpennine and Express. We've now built or in the process of building 10 new electric trains to come into the facility which is already demonstrated within the industry as one of the leaders in electric traction. Designing the timetable and consulting with um, users, stakeholders and local communities has been a huge effort that we've completed over the last 12 months and I'm really pleased after lots of feedback and lots of change and development in that timetable we've now we think got the, the best overall offer for all our passengers wherever they're travelling to and from. Really exciting development today, and I'm thrilled to be here to launch this uh, fantastic uh, program. You know, it's going to be bringing jobs into the area, highly skilled jobs into the area, as well as giving a much ne needed boost to our rail infrastructure. Between now and 2018, there will be a lot more electrification across the north of England, more electric trains in service, reducing journey times, and putting in more capacity and helping the economy of the north of England prosper even further. Really exciting times ahead. Thank you.